It's not gilding the lily at all to say that the money I got from Rotary pretty much made my research career. Um, you know, they took a chance on a, a young, <laughs> younger, um, 12 years younger than I am now, uh, researcher. They took a chance on an intervention that nobody else was wanting to fund then because it fell, you know, right in the crack between health um, and employment um, and the money that they put in made the absolute difference between whether this would have happened or not um, for me personally like I say it, it's led to a whole range of other opportunities that you know I wouldn't have even begun to imagine I don't think it can be underestimated to be honest in Australia there are very few organizations or schemes that fund mental health research and even fewer who would fund prevention research like the development and evaluation of confident body confident child and when you try as a researcher for the really big funding agent agencies nationally like the National Health and Medical Research Council your research already has to have quite a lot of evidence and quite a lot of data to show that that taxpayer money is going to a good place and it's really likely to be effective. So to find funding that helps the program get off the ground and get that early evidence is really, really hard. And I'd say Australian Rotary Health plays an essential role in allowing young researchers and young programs to do that really important initial work when you get those early stages of evidence and then allow you to become more competitive competitive in the big funding market? Well, I think that it's um, really important, um, particularly at the current time. It's, it's, um, it's important, you know, ment the mental health of the population is really important all the time, but in the context of COVID, it's really heightened. There are the, the mental health cons consequences of COVID are still probably yet to be seen and will almost certainly unfold. And um, there will be uh, lots that we need to learn about how to um, make sure that people come through COVID um, mentally healthy. But to think about it this way, there's around about um you know, 8,000 young people a year who now have access to an intervention to help them stay in school or to get into work that they wouldn't have had access to uh, if it wasn't for the money that Rotary put up at the start. So um, it, it's made an enormous difference both to me and I, and I think to the community. We see important programs that are available to the community that help prevent mental illnesses. Um, and it, we just wouldn't have the same level of effective mental health programs out there that we know are helping save and improve lives. So I'm incredibly grateful to, to Rotarians and all the fundraising work they do for Australian Rotary Health. Absolutely, and Australian Rotary Health made a massive difference. You know, that, that mm -hmm. funding um, was the springboard for a number of other studies that we've done since. Um, and uh, in fact, you know, that was 2003 is a long time ago, but it was still relatively early on in my career. And it um, meant that I um, uh, became a bit known for working in the area of suicide in the media. And that in turn meant that I was able to join forces with international collaborators from all over the place, which has been fantastic.